What's going on guys, Windows 69 bit here. Today we are gonna be doing a video on how to play GameCube games on your computer. Works with you know laptops, uh desktops, you name it, okay, even touch screens, I believe. So first things first, what you want to do, open up your internet browser. You want I'll have links in the description too. Um look up Look up Dolphin Emulator, or just go to the link in the description. And uh, click. It has to be the Dolphin MU, of course. I'm gonna make this quick because it's very hard for me to edit videos longer than you know 10 minutes. Uh, then it says download Windows for Windows Mac, and download Dolphin Windows Mac and Linux. You click that. The one I usually download because I'm running Windows 10. If you're running Windows 10. I go down to the stable versions and I download this one. This one right here. Windows 64, Dolphin 5.0. Click download. And it'll it'll say download and stuff. And then uh you know, once it gets done downloading, you go to your downloads. And uh it'll be It'll be in here. It'll say Dolphin setup and stuff. You know, click it. It'll say something like this. This is a 64 one. I think I deleted it because I delete my shit whenever I'm done with it. But once you do the Dolphin setup and shit, um, you click on it, right? I'm gonna give you the best settings too. Um, click on Dolphin. Uh, first things first. What you want to do is uh. You want to go to tools? No. You go to graphics. Look, you click configure. First, you want to click configure. Copy all these settings I have right here. Okay, all these settings. Here's general. Okay. Interface. Audio. GameCube. Wii. And paths. Uh, I would create a GameCube ROMs folder on your desktop and then use that because then it'll just automatically load everything when you put it in. And then advanced, do this because uh, right there. So, uh, and second of all, you want to go to graphics. Now, copy everything I got on this, okay? There's general. Enhancements, there's all that. Hacks, all that. You can pause it if needed. And advanced, okay? Now, the thing is, if some games like kind of run buggy or something, change this back end right here to either OpenGL or back to Direct3D3 or 11, okay? Because some games just, you know, run better. But I usually do this. Um, I would play a game for y'all, but it runs my computer so damn slow, and plus I'd have to plug in my PS3 controller. Um, so you exit out of that. How to download ROMs? Okay, this is just a full tutorial. Okay, say you want to download some GameCube ROMs, you open up good old Google. Click the link in the description or go to vim.net. You can also download Torrents. That'll be another video. But, um, just go to Vault. Here's all of the, uh, you know, shit you can... I, I go to GameCube. These are all the games. These are all the games. All these games, bro. And, uh, hey, the hell, they even got fucking... Shadow the Hedgehog. I was going to download that, but I have it on my actual GameCube, so. Huh. Yeah, I know. Shadow the Hedgehog is actually one of my favorite games. One of my favorite Sonic games, besides Sonic Riders. But, um, yeah, and let's just say, um, you know, download Scooby-Doo or whatever. I'm going to cancel it anyways. So it'll bring you to this. 
It's an NK.ISO, which means it's kind of compressed. Uh, um, so you click download, and then it'll start downloading. Okay, I'm going to cancel this, and once it's uh, done downloading, you basically open it. You don't open it, really. You, you open the zip, of course. You have to have WinRAR. I'll put uh, WinRAR into the description. You need WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever to unzip. Um, you just download that. I'll, I'll have all the download links in the description. Uh, but yeah, like when you have uh, there, see, like all that is just like WinRAR options. But uh, um, so yeah, uh, that's basically how you do it. Um, I'll I'll have a a WinRAR just set up WinRAR. I'll have everything in the description for you. Okay. Um, peace, guys.